Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with a tribute video here. Um, it's really sad, but Grant Jackson, left-handed pitcher for the Pirates, and the 1979 World Series Game 7 winner uh, passed away from complications from COVID. And I wasn't, of course, planning to make this video. I have so many other videos. I'd like to show you but when I found this out I mean I have met this guy on numerous occasions I wanted to show you all 39 autographs that I have of Mr. Grant Jackson I've met him in person on six occasions plus I've purchased items I've sent items through the mail to him so I'm going to kind of go in order from like I guess coolest to most coolest <laughs> so so we're going to start off with some team issued photo cards so these first two team issued photo cards i've ended up purchasing them or acquired them in other capacities but uh those are two of the older team issued photo cards and on the six occasions i've met him through pittsburgh pirate events pretty much every single time he signed one of these four by six cards he was really cool about these so in addition to whatever couple items he would sign you know usually you can get one of these thrown in as well so we got four of the team issued four by six no five of the team issued four by six items here but he was always really nice um he was very present he was at multiple pirates alumni events i'm sure there were other times i could have met him but missed out but he was like i said he was really really nice super cool so I wanted to go ahead and um, show those team issued photo cards. And the next thing I'm going to show you here are the trading cards. So I have 23 trading cards. Seven of them were in person and 16 were TTM. Now, keep in mind, I've been TTMing for literally six and a half years. So these 16 requests were spread out. 16 cards were spread out over six and a half years. But um, the first seven here were in person. So depending on what he was signing, I would use black or blue Sharpie or whatever, just depending on the situation. So we have one, two, three. Like I said, there's seven in-person cards. But the seventh one's going to be really nice. So there's four, five, six. And the seventh one... This is your World Series 1979 team right there, and, um, well, we'll leave it in there. Can't help the glare. Right there, Grant Jackson. Also signed by Ed Ott, John Candelaria, Don Robinson, and Omar Moreno, but we got Grant Jackson right there. So those were seven trading cards that were signed in person, and then I have 16 more that were TTM requests. So these first three on the top were actually from this past year. Actually, wait, I did three and three. The first six TTM cards were sent through the mail back in 2020. That's a cool card. Ironic, you know, but I shouldn't say it's not ironic. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> So remember, these last 16 cards I'm showing you here were all through the mail autograph requests. Played for a number of teams. It wasn't just the Pirates. He only played for the Pirates for, I want to say, four seasons. Maybe it was not quite four full seasons, but, you know, he did play for the 79 Pirates. And, you know, a very solid pitcher. And, yeah, he, like I said, he was the Game 7 winner. I have a neat little item in regard to that. And then I have a really, really cool item mentioning that. So, And I actually just bought one of these off a of Facebook group for 2 bucks with the shipping included. So I won't go, I'm going to have another one come my way. So, um, yeah, those are the trading cards. The next thing I'm going to show you is an 8x10 photo that I purchased. Hunt Auctions does a lot of the, uh, for the past maybe five or six years, have done a lot of the autographs for Pittsburgh Pirate players and whatnot. So this was on sale once for I think like seven bucks. It's a photo file photo. Got the 79 World Series. That was a 76 World Series, so 1979 logo there. 
Love the uniform. Love that. So that was my autographed photo of Grant Jackson. Got him on one of these little helmets there. I like that you would get ice cream in them at ball games. Grant Jackson, nice, nice autograph right there. All right, now we're moving on to the baseballs. I actually had 40 autographs, but uh, I'm down to 39. One of the baseballs I have, he signed on the side panel, and the autograph just the autograph just bled. The baseball, it was a bad baseball, really. Um, so in a video that you'll eventually see, you'll see me trying to use Magic Eraser on it to no avail, but who knows when that will get shown. So I have four baseballs that I have to show you here. And this first one is on that pillbox ball. Oh, this is such a beautiful, beautiful ball. Now, it's pleather. Those of you who are into autographed baseballs know what I mean by pleather, this synthetic leather, plastic leather. Um, but signed in Sharpie, silver Sharpie on this has gone well. I have about six other ones signed like this, and there it is. When he signed this at Pirates Fest, um, he even looked it over real good. He's looking at... I think it should look better in gold. And I said, oh, it still looks great. He's like, yeah. You know, he looks like kind of, you know, that was cool. I think he liked the look of the baseball there. And um, here's a cool one. So he signed this ball, this one at Pirates Fest as well. And he wrote Game 7. I He signed it, and I said, could you please add Game 7 winner? So he was about to sign it, and then when I said that, he decided that he would write his signature there and then write Game 7 winner on the sweet spot. So it's like... I was really nice of him, but dang, he put like reverse order. So then I thought, well, Steve Blass is signed later in the day. He was the Game 7 winner in the 1979 World, or the 1971 World Series, so I got like a dual item here. It doesn't have a year or anything attached to each guy, but Pirate winners. Steve Blass, Game 7 winner in the 1971 World Series. Grant Jackson, Game 7 winner in the 1979 World Series. I got a really cool ball that displays really well. So thank you, Mr. Jackson. I also have him on some team-signed items. This is a baseball with Chuck Tanner, the manager on the sweet spot, signed by a bunch of members of the World Series team. Mr. Grant Jackson is right there. I don't even remember how many autographs are on this baseball at the time, but that's not the focus. The focus on Mr. Grant Jackson here. And then I have another 1979 Pirates team that I'm working on because I came across this ball, and according to the um, the four dots, the way the word Hades is written on a Chuck Feeney ball, Charles Feeney ball, this is a 1979 baseball. So it's like, well, crap, now I'm going to start a second one, to which I did. You know, and Grant Jackson signed it somewhere. Right there. Right between Kent DeCalvey and Mike Easler. I'm down to just three items left in their programs. This first one is a 1979 program. And there it is right there. Oh, dang. I'm going to take this out of the holder. The top loader type there. It's still bagged and backed but shouldn't be the glare shouldn't be as bad hopefully there he is and then i have a 1979 world series program i just won one of these around the holidays and i had this grand plan of getting him to sign it because it's beautiful and get him to sign right across it and write game seven where i thought it'd be like the most beautiful thing ever and well that's not going to happen but um what I do have is a really nice 1979 program. Big and bold right there. Yeah, depending on when you started watching my channel, you might think that I'm just all about TTMs and random occasional Pirates autographs. No, no, I have a lot of Pirates autographs. I have over 500 autographed baseballs in my collection. That's my favorite thing to collect, but obviously uh, it's not the only thing I collect. And here's the last one, everybody. Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to finish on. He was signing at the Pirates Clubhouse store. 
and he's so nice. Here is my Three Rivers Stadium seat back. And this is an item that will not be signed by a pirate unless if there's like a cool inscription that I can add or something noteworthy. Of course, this is seat number nine, which was Bill Mazeroski's number. There's the Hall of Fame inscription. Kent to call the with the save in Game 7, 1979 World Series with the date. So he had the save. Grant Jackson had the win. I'll get to him in just a moment. Jim Rooker. If we don't win, I'll walk back to Pittsburgh inscription. Steve Blast, 1979 World Series champ. Winner, Game 7, 1971. And right next to that, Grant Jackson, number 23. Winner, of Game 7, 1979. So there we go, folks. There's all the items. My 39 Grant Jackson items, man. Um, great guy. This lousy, stinking hook. COVID got somebody else. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that word. This lousy, stinking health situation. Claimed another one. And he was a great guy. Super nice every time I met him. So, um, thank you for checking out this video. I appreciate if you let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any Grant Jackson stories or if you ever at least just met the guy, feel free to mention it. I upload a video, a TTM video, every Monday. And I also upload another video on Wednesday and on the weekend. So, like I said, I always appreciate if you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jackson. Take care, everybody.